Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dave here from SignalWarren.com. So today I'm going to answer a question is basically what we're going to do. So on my video on inventorying third-party software, MX Cobra asked, uh, taking that one step further, how would you push updates via PowerShell out for Adobe Reader to make sure all your users aren't running the same software? So this is what we're going to do. I have a domain controller here, DC2. This is a virtual machine on my client machine. And as you can see, there is no Adobe Reader installed. So what we're going to do is copy the install file, which is located here in C install. This is on my local host machine. So we're going to copy the contents of this install file over to the C drive of the DC2. Then we're going to install it silently without any user interaction uh, whatsoever. So this is the script we're going to do it with. So we got a few variables here. The computer's variable is just going to read the contents of the computers.txt file. So in the computers.txt file, you can put one or a hundred computer names in there. One computer name per line. This is where my Adobe Reader install is. This is what we're going to connect to the C admin share on Domain Controller 2. This is what we're going to use to test the path. So before we actually run the script to make the in, to do the install, we're going to confirm that this path is on DC2 before we launch the installation. So this is a pretty simple script, just a for each loop. You're basically iterating through each computer object as it comes in from the text file. First thing you're going to do is test the connection, which is essentially a ping. If it pings OK, we're going to copy, start copying the installation files over. If not, it's going to just die. And you'll get this error message. So once we get the copy done, we're going to test to make sure that path is there. Then we're going to invoke this command on DC2, and it's basically opening up a PowerShell window and launching the Adobe installation with all these switches. That basically makes it for all users. It accepts the EULA, so you don't have to, nobody has to check yes. Disables the restart option and makes it quiet install, so you don't see anything going on the actual console of the machine. And that's about it. So, again, no install folder, no installation, no Adobe Reader on DC2. So, and I think my script is in C scripts. Yep, there it is. So we'll launch copyfiles.ps1. And this is probably going to take a minute. So I'll either fast forward this part of the video or I'll cut it out and just skip to the, the finished product. So let's see if anything's happening over here on the domain controller or DC2. So there you can see our install folder has been created. And there is our installation executable. Okay, that took a while, probably, I don't know, a minute and a half, two minutes maybe. So now you can see we have the Adobe Reader shortcut on the desktop of the domain controller. Let's see if it actually made it into, and there it is in Programs and Features. So this is probably the most simplistic way to crack this nut. Does it work? Yes. Is it efficient? Probably not. It definitely could be made more efficient. 
Uh, maybe you would use robocopy here to actually do the data transfer depending on how large the installation package is. You may even consider cutting that piece out and making that a sec separate script. So maybe you copy the install package over one night and then you know the next night or the next day you launch the actual installation on the target machine. That may be a better method. But this is functional. I'm not sure I would use this in an enterprise scenario, but it would work. It may just take a little longer than a more efficient way of doing it. So that's uh, all I have. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comments or send me an email on signalwar.com and I will do what I can to get back to you. I appreciate you watching. Hey, thanks for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can contact me at the social media links listed there. And until the next time.